above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. David, David, come and see what I've done. Come and look at this. Oh, that's very good. How did you do that? Well, I got this plate. Yeah. Then I put it on the paper like this. Mm -hmm. And then I drew round it with my crayon, like this. Oh, that's a good idea. Can you do that? What shape is it, Bungo? Plate shape. <laughs> yes, but what shape is the plate? Is it a circle? Yes, it's a circle. Ah. The plate is round, so you've drawn a circle. Oh. Are you going to draw a circle now? Well, what if I draw a different shape? How about a square? Oh, a square. Yes, please. Right. There. That's a square. It's got four sides. One, two, three, four. And they're all the same length. Now, this is another square. It's a square piece of paper. Oh. Now, watch. There. That's another shape. Do you know what it's called? Do you know? It's a triangle. Oh. It's only got three sides. Oh. One, two, three. Now, that's three different shapes we've got. We've got a circle, a square and a triangle. circle, a square, and a triangle. That's it. There's a bus stop. What's the shape, Bungle? A square? Yes, with a circle in it. If you go for a ride on a bus, you might see lots of other shapes. It's best to sit upstairs, then you can see everything. There's a lollipop lady. What's her sign? A circle. Yes, it says stop children. She's going to stop the traffic to let the children cross the road. There's another shape. That's a triangle. Good bungle. That means there's a school near. There might be some more children crossing the road. And this... Oh, it's a triangle too. Yes, it is. The curve inside it means we're coming to a bend. And this is the bend. Here's another triangle. It's got a gate in it. There's a railway not far away. And this is the train crossing the road. Oh, yes. Now, what's the next triangle got in it? A circle. And underneath? A square. The circle means there's a roundabout near. The 
Traffic has to drive very carefully around the roundabout. Mooney, if a square has got four sides and a triangle has got three sides, how many sides have you got, Mooney? How many sides have I got? Yeah. I don't know. How many? Two. Inside and outside. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> no. Yes, I thought you'd like it. <laughs> All around us, everywhere to see Square circles, triangles, which can we be? I know a shape, it's just right for me I'd be a square, that's what I'd be Two sides and a bottom And last is a top but it just doesn't matter which side faces up Shapes all around us, everywhere to see Square circles, triangles, which can we be? I'd be a triangle with sides one, two, three It's easy to show you I've got mine with me it's bright and it's shiny and gives a good ring. Just listen, I'll play it. It goes. Shapes all around us, everywhere to see. Square circles, triangles, which can we be? I be all round like the moon. Sun, like the wheels on a bike or a nice sticky bun Walk in a circle, you wouldn't get far You'd end up beginning right back where you are Cartwheels and windmills go circling round Drums are a circle and make a round sound Shapes all around us, everywhere to see Square circles, triangles, that's what we'll be Are you going to open the rainbow book, David? What do you think we'll find in it today? Bramble and Logan? Mm, perhaps. Someone to tell a story? Or Sally and Jake? Oh, yes, that'd be nice. Well, let's see. Sally and Jake have found an old box. Sally says it'll make a good treasure chest. So they're filling it with stones from the side of the pond. Because Sally likes stones. Here's a thin flat one, says Jake. And he puts it in the box. And Sally picks one up. But I've got one like that, says Jake. So Sally puts it down again. Jake finds another long thin stone. Sally finds a round stone. It's like an orange. Then Jake finds a square one. He's very pleased with it. And he shows it to Sally. Then he puts it in the box. The treasure chest is full now. But it doesn't have a lid. What can we do, says Sally? A treasure chest must have a lid. So Jake goes off to see if Harry can help. A lid, says Harry. Jake tries to show Harry the size and shape the lid will have to be. 
Harry thinks about it. Then he shows Jake lots of pieces of wood, all different shapes and sizes. Jake says he thinks the biggest piece will be best. Harry takes the wood to the treasure chest and his saw and pencil. He puts the wood on the box, like a lid. But it's too long, so he marks it with his pencil. Then he cuts the lid with his saw to the right length. Now the lid fits, says Jake. It's the right shape. Yes, says Harry. And everyone is pleased. Sally and Jake decide to carry the treasure chest indoors. But when they try to lift it, it's too heavy. <laughs> Harry can't help laughing. <laughs> You'll have to take out some of the stones again, said Harry. So Jake takes the lid off the box and Sally removes the thin flat stone. Still, the box is too heavy. So Jake takes out the round stone. Still too heavy? Then the square one. Now they can lift it. And they carry it away. They've left all the best shapes behind, thinks Slythe. And he goes back to sleep with a sigh. And the last is a top But it just doesn't matter which side faces up Shapes all around us, everywhere to see Square circles, triangles, which can we be? I'd be a triangle with sides one, two, three It's easy to show you, I've got mine with me it's bright and it's shiny and gives a good ring. Just listen, I'll show you, it goes. Shapes all around us, everywhere to see. Square circles, triangles, which can we be? i be all round like the moon or the sun. Like the wheels on a bike or a nice sticky bun Walk in a circle and you won't get far You'll end up beginning right back where you are Ships all around us, everywhere to see Square circles, triangles, that's, that's what we'll be Mooney, let's play squares and circles. I can't draw. No, 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 no. It's a word game. I make up a poem with the word square in it. Then you have to make up a poem with the word 
So good in it. You aren't any good at poems. I'm as good as you. Listen. <clears throat> a certain Mr. Square thought he'd change his shape and jumped into a box of yellow sticky tape. Is it me now? Yeah, go on. The box fell off a bus at a roundabout, but no one saw it go or heard it shout and shout. You didn't use the word circle. But a roundabout is a circle, isn't it? Yes, but that's not fair. I think it's quite fair. Oh, fossil gurks. What are you doing? I've got a coin under here, and it's got a pattern on it that you can feel. Now, when I put the coin under the piece of paper like that, and rub over it with a crayon like this, you can see what happens. Ooh. Now, I've got the shape of the coin and the shape of the picture that's on it as well. I've made a picture of the coin on the paper. That's very clever. Can I try? Yes. You have a go. There. Oh, look, look. Look, there's a picture coming. Yes. You've got the shape of the coin and the picture that's on the other side as well. Oh, that's very good, Bungle. I like doing this. It's fun, isn't it? Yes. Do another one. Yes. See if you can find anything else with a pattern on it that you can feel. Bye. Bye. <laughs>